the leg side and he may have picked up the gap. So another boundary for Sarwan. Just a bit too many full tosses at the moment from Virendra Sehwag. At the moment he's complaining to Mohamed Kaif for coming in too much. He thought he should have been on the edge of the circle. Over the top goes Sarwan and maybe straight to Sanjay Bangar who drops that one. The spare thought for the fielder is looking into the sun. We mentioned that at that position you're directly staring at the sun. Just wonder whether that was the reason. Well, I'm not going to spare a thought for Sanjay Banga. You've got a cap on, son, and wear the sunglasses. You've got to wear sunglasses. This day and age, you've got those there as an apparatus to wear. And I'm sorry, if you're going to be on the fence over there, that's what you've got to do, Sanjay Mandraker, surely. Point taken, Danny. And I think he saw it early, got into a fairly good position to catch that one. Then maybe at the last minute, just ended up too much on the right, the ball did. There you can see it. And he's got hold of that. And he's found the onside boundary. Now that's a very poor effort in the deep. Sanjay Banga will not be happy with that effort. Neither will be the bowler or the captain. It's gone away, square of the wicket. Hooper will come back for two. Well, he's been in the firing line, Sanjay Bangar, but good effort on that occasion. And after 50 overs, the West Indies, 324 for four. That's a lovely delivery. Bang on target. Sevag has no answer. And India have lost their first wicket. That is a cracking ball from Dylan. Jumped from a length and surprised the little man. Good bouncer. That's the direction in which the wall you want the ball going. Certainly don't want anything outside the off stump. Well directed bouncer. Just about shoulder height. The finger goes up. That is a good catch by Ridley Jacobs. A good decision by Empire Hariyar. And he was off in a flash there, lifting the finger. The crowd stunned into silence. And Ganguly knew it. Was very disappointed immediately. Carter Paul with World War and he's gone. Oh, this is pretty inexplicable. You, you just never saw either of the batsmen actually commit himself to the run and yet they were just ambling past each other. Not calling, not saying no, just take a look. At no stage did either of them want to really run. Powell had the ball, just gave it to Hooper and nobody's in the frame. A shift in the air and taken. That is... A lucky break for the West Indies and what a wicket and at what a time for the West Indies. India lose their fourth. That's a simple catch. The bouncer has done the trick. Again going for the big one over mid on and only top edging it. So West Indies pick up another wicket. India five down. Sanjay Bangar early days in his one day career. Well played, just using the pace. Death touch shown by Sanjay Banha. Not seen many Indians do that. It was very intelligently played by Bangar. And as uh, Ian Bishop was saying that Sanjay Bangar will have to bang a few to score the runs quickly, he taps on to the third man. Well, he hasn't hit that in the area that he aspired to, but he's got enough bat onto it. And it's gone away for four. He was aiming straight down the ground, thick outside half of the bat, and still had enough on it. That's the second boundary of the over. He squirted that away very well. He does favor the offside very much. Sanjay Banga made room for himself and found the gap well. That is a big hit. And that's gone all the way. Magnificent from Sanjay Banga. Well, it doesn't matter what he did in the test matches. He's seen a different side of him tonight. And the crowd, they are absolutely delighted. Very well timed by Sanjay Banga. And he's gone over the top and it's flown well clear of the sweeper cover. Sanjay Banga 
has become a banger. He certainly has, Sanjay Mandraker. This is outstanding. He's just leant back on this. He's come back over the wicket, Pedro Collins, and just opened up the offside for the right-hander. And Wavell Hines, well, all he can do is just wave this over the rope. That is just brilliant. And more to come. That's gone very quickly to third man. And the 300 comes up for India. Five overs to go, 302 for five. That's his 50, Sanjay Bangar. The crowd is delirious. And Sanjay Bangar is a well, low-profile cricketer, not very expressive. But I'm sure he is equally happy. And his first 50 in one-day cricket. Well, he's going to get his 100 here. Comfortable too. And that's 100 for Rahul Dravid. One of the more important one-day 100s. And he knows it. Job not yet done. Look at the Indian players. They realize the value of the innings. His eighth one-day 100. And look at the score now. And again, he's gone straight down the ground. And the ball has skidded off the turf for another boundary to Sanjay Bangar. The crowd chanting, you little beauty. Sanjay Bangar, the sheet anchor role in the Test Series as an opening batsman. Well, he's come in here as number seven and simply smoked it to all parts. And it just seems like uh, Kalupa has given up that last delivery. It was just bowled casually by Kalupa for Dravid to pick up another boundary. And the writing is now on the wall. Very much so, Sanjay. A foregone conclusion, really. Just the five now off 19. And India, well, they've come back into it. There we have a couple of more runs. And Rahul Dravid making sure that Sanjay Banga doesn't take it too easy. He got the younger partner to get to the other end to complete the formality of two runs and register the score 325 for five in the scorebook, which means that this is the third best run chase ever in one day cricket. The crowd are out of their seats and so are we, Sanj. We're standing up here absolutely fired up we've seen an incredible chase we went on about the match at Lords and that was under natural light that was in the daytime this here is a heck of an achievement when you think the conditions that suited the West Indies pace men have bounced it went through early on with the new ball and 325 for 5 in 47.4 overs it seems like they coasted it it was struggling there for a little bit mid time at 148 for 3 you thought the West Indies had a little bit more control of this game, but really, it's Rahul Dravid and Sanjay Bunga turned it round, and they are the big heroes here tonight. Well, we just mentioned the third best run chase ever, and it was done with 16 balls to spare, with five wickets in hand, and the hero of the day, Rahul Dravid. Unbeaten 109 of 124 balls, just the eight boundaries. But he worked hard, rotated the strike, built up a good partnership to start with, with Vivius Lakshman. Then he lost Yuvraj Singh and Mohamed Kev, the two young guns at important stages. And he just carried on. And then he found Sanjay Bangar, who surprised everybody with his performance today.